and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Bant Party Bus action. That's right. Uh, we're breaking this deck back out again. We've played it one time and it was a whole lot of fun. So we're going to try it again here on this Sunday fun day second deck up. So the reason why this is called Bant Party Bus, of course, is the lumbering battlement. This is what the deck is built around this five mana beast that looks like it's a whole lot of fun to be on. Definitely looks like there's a party on that bus right there. So the goal of the deck here is to, you know, besides like just grinding your opponent out and like attacking him with creatures, you know, like a, like a normal creature deck, you know, sometimes you, you just do that and, you know, you have your planeswalkers. That all happens. But we also have an infinite combo. So we, if we have three total battlements, which we need one of those battlements, plus we could also have spark doubles and mirror images, these also count as extra battlements as well. So if we can get three battlements, then they infinitely loop each other. Because you have like, you have your first battlement, the second, the second one exiles the first, and then the third one exiles the second, which makes the first one return, which then the first one exiles the third, which makes the second one return, which then exiles the first one again, and so on. So you get the you get infinite loops there um, with the three battlements. So then what we want, whenever we have that combo, if we have a Fibble Thip, we can draw a whole lot of cards, or hopefully we have our Wall of Lost Thoughts. So if we have our Wall of Lost Thoughts, it's just chilling on the battlefield, and we get this infinite loop, then we mill out our opponent for four cards every time, and we can mill them out um, with this loop here. So that's that's our our goal there. Um, hope we get to hope we get to uh, pull that off. The very first game of the first match, last time we played it, we actually got to get that combo off after mulling to five too against Esper Control. So that was a lot of fun. Hopefully we get to do that again. We have Tamios that help find party buses or return them back to our hand. We have the Vivians that tick up and help find party buses. That's kind of what we're doing here. Um, so, yeah, that's our deck. We'll see how it works out. Um, and we'll give it a try here. I need my throat is bother me. I need some water. So Team of Bog, that's a good question. Um, if <clears throat> if our opponent um, steals our, ma our battlement with like a mass manipulation and then we kill it, then it dies, where do the creatures go? I believe they go back to us. Yeah, I believe they'll just go back to us. Because we, we should still control all those other creatures. They should go back to us. Um, after Diamond, I believe it's... I believe it's Mythic after Diamond. I believe it goes... Um... Platinum, then platinum, then diamond, then mythic. I'm just gonna have this wall just kind of sit back and block here for a little bit. All right, four spells. Hopefully they are. Hopefully they have a whole lot of lands and are looking for spells. All right, sure. They killed the wall. Oh no, Firebrand. Ugh. Firebrand's a good one because it just shuts down the, the explore creatures. So I guess I'll, I'll play the Branch Walker now. I was planning on playing the Jade Light. <clears throat> yeah, it is. It's a good call. The seasons are very short. The just thirty days. It is a very short season. It does feel like that. 
Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. I think I'm actually just gonna say Teferi, they can they can bounce. Bounce the butcher. I didn't I'm saving next turn to be able to, you know, double spell with, like, Wild Growth plus Jade Light, right? So, like, I want to be able to do that next turn. Our Good thing we hit. Is Sure, I'll take a Vivian. I don't know what I'm going to do with that Vivian yet, but we'll take it. <clears throat> Please hmm. run and shake your crew for my freedom. <laughs> a fair price. All right, well, at least we get to finish off Angrath now. All right, and I'm I am getting scared of this butcher. Let's reset it. This isn't a fight you can win. Just scooping it up. All right, so Mardu aggro. Man, we didn't even get to play a boss. If I knew my opponent was about to concede, I would've just played the bus the previous turn. All right, next match. Some people really don't like to ferry. Very no. Out of here. Teferi's like, you have to pick up your butcher. And they're like, well, I'm picking up my butcher. I'm going home. Yes, the mythic blue cavalier from M20 looks really strong. Um, yeah, you get a brainstorm with a really big body. Plus, whenever it dies... You get to scry too. Yeah, that card looks really good. It could be the best of the Cavaliers, or it'll be close. Because, like always, they always have to make the blue. Any cycle, the blue one's got to be the best. I don't know why that's a rule, but that's a rule for some reason. Hmm. Espa. What do you want to take? I want to take Teferi. That was a quick Teferi. Dueling you will be excellent research. I follow the tracks of the wise. All right, we got Teferi back. Yeah, the Cavaliers are sweet, though. I like that kind of cycle. I like those kind of creatures. Really? They already knew all the cards in our hand. Let me aid. 
aid your research. Man, we're crushing it with our our Tamiyo names today. Want land drop? So of course they could have a, a wrath here if they hit a land drop. They didn't, you know, they didn't have the fourth land last turn. Even if they have a wrath, we still have a lot of stuff. But yeah, I was playing those out to try to look for lands. They just must be just so desperate of looking for lands. It's got to be it. Like they're just playing these as as looking for lands. All right, bunch of negates, real mystics against the control deck. Hope they don't have their own uh, little Teferi and <laughs> shut off our counter magic. What else am I cutting? Maybe I don't actually cut Wall of Lost Thoughts. This card could be good against Esper. Just mill four. Mill four is pretty sweet. Yeah, I was thinking of just cutting, taking out the, the combo. I'm gonna keep it one one wall. Hey, what's up, nine baller? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I made any changes since last time. It's, or I I put it in the fourth land or elf. I guess I've changed that. There's only three in here. But then basically kept everything else the same. Uh, this is a link to the list here. MTG, yeah, MTG bot's not working today. I don't have any information on why or anything. I don't really target stuff too much anyway. Yeah, I guess, like, just these in, like, the Esper Mirrors, because, like, post-board in the Esper Mirror, people aren't going to have Kaya's Wrath in, I guess. And so, like, these just would have Hexproof, and there's no no removal for them. And, and uh, I guess they would just own up on the Esper Mirrors because of that. Sorry. 
sorry I'm late. That's more like it. Hmm. I'm just gonna let their fairy die. Just gonna try to win the race. Only time will tell. We only have four turns to kill our opponent. Three more three more turns now. Letting them gain life, not a good idea for us. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Hey, there you go, Storm. Awesome. Glad you're Glad you're enjoying Teamer Hydra. It's not looking good for us. Well, I guess we're winning the race now. So we'll see what they have. No, I'm a spark double. Hooray! Because, yeah, they had to deal with the Battle Mint, plus the Jade Light, plus the Frilled Mystic and Land War Elf. So, like, we had three different sets of lethal there. All right. 2 and 0 for Bant Party Bus. Once the wheels start rolling, you can't stop it. Oh, we did have... I think earlier whenever I was playing, we had our sixth sub of the day, and I forgot to mark it down. We've had six subs today. There we go. Mark that down. GG's. I don't know if we should keep two lands with f uh, three five drops. So many five drops. All right, three man. Have a good Sunday. Hmm. They're keeping their seven. I think I'm going to mulligan this. I think there's just a good chance that, that that other hand doesn't get there. And we get stuck. Oh yeah, or we're playing against a red deck that burns my Lana War Elf. 
Heck yeah, we're playing a bus deck. You can, you can shock a little merfolk scooter. Um, don't really need that. Don't shock my land where else. Yep, yeah, if we would have kept that last hand, Lana Rolf getting shocked, it would have been real. It would have been like real, real trouble. Ow. Ionize. Ionize is good. So I'd rather them, you know, shock a uh, Jade Light Ranger or, yeah, I mean, strike, whatever. I'd rather them use the burn spell on, like, one of the creatures than on the Tamiyo. So I felt like if I would have played Tamiyo last turn. Uh, Alright, let's look for Vivian. No! Uh oh. That's bad. Bad news. Hmm. Okay. Because they just want to flip the Oscanta. Yeah, poor Fibbletip. Getting countered. I don't really want to mirror image a Wild Growth Walker. I don't think the Wild Growth Walker is that valuable. You know, of course, if we draw an Explore creature, it could be different, but... Copying the Explore creature may not be bad. Not looking good. Ascanta is very powerful. And once my Tamiyo got countered, we've been in trouble. Alright, that should do it. All right, lots and lots of burn spells. Lots of counter magic. Gonna be taking out these mirrored images and spark doubles because if they're killing all of our creatures like this, um, it's not, you know, it's not reliable to. You 
you know, as we saw there that last game, it's not reliable to actually have things to, to do with them. And one Knight of Autumn for as Kanta, but I guess we don't need a lot of them. We'll just have the one Knight of Autumn. Okay. Game two. Hey, Milligan. Glad you're here watching. Hope you're having a nice Sunday fun day. Like we are here today. I am going to go ahead and chalk in with the land war elf, even though you know we're not going to really do anything extra on turn two. But that does let us, you know, branch walker on turn two and everything. Getting the land war elf out of the hand. Maybe I should be playing all four battlements. Card's really big. They're just playing like a bunch of burn spells. I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna cut one of the Frilled Mystics and get this other battlement in here. Yeah, what if the red ley line said all of your creatures have haste? That could be a good ley line. Try to have all your creatures have haste from the very beginning of the game. That could be a pretty, a pretty sweet ley line. Not like I don't think it's overpowered. Oh, a lot of the ley lines are bad for four mana. What is good? That's kind of the point of the ley lines is to be bad at four mana but be really good in your opener, or like, you know, good. Maybe not really good, but good. So bouncing as Kanta, because then if they spend next turn playing as Kanta again, then we get to resolve Tamiyo. Worst case scenario is they have shock plus negate. That go according to plan. And speaking of negate, I think that's the card I'm going to be looking for here. Ah, there's a frill mystic. I went with negate because I have four negates, three frilled mystics. I think you will find my notes helpful. Man, getting all these sweet spells in here. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Joe, I don't think there's a specific best deck like to climb with and everything. I think it's kind of a, a personal preference, whatever you like. 
My creations are things of beauty. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. Hmm. You can't stop nature. Never forgotten. <sighs> Looks like they're about to make a bunch of one ones. knows the wilds like I do. So they're gonna have infinite life. If I would have grabbed the other battle mint. I wish I would have kept a wall of lost thoughts in. It'd be a perfect time to be looking for a wall. You have to kill our opponent before we mill ourselves out. If you're talking about for paper, uh, I would recommend buying singles. Best way to to um, build decks. So yeah, we're just gonna be very patient there. Keep building up our wild growth walker. You know, play some more explore creatures. Get battlement to exile the explore creatures. Have the battlement be very big. Also, I'm just kind of patiently grind down our opponent. We would protect the Vivian also. The Vivian was a couple of turns from ultimating. For Arena, there's really only... Yeah, just buying. Yeah, buying packs, and getting wild cards. Um, besides, besides playing limited, besides playing sealed, uh, or drafting, that's really the only thing you can do is just buy packs and obtain wild cards from opening packs. So Wall of Lost Thoughts could help us out here if they explore something to the top that they want with one of their explore creatures, then I can use the wall to have them mill it over. They do have the mana advantage though, which is not good for us. Yeah, Magic's always been an expensive game. 
It always has been. Um, I yeah, I don't have one. Blood Wolf. I haven't played Modern or Legacy since War of the Spark came out. Like the phases of the moon, like waxes, and hmm, I know I noted this somewhere. So while I I do need. I need two more battlements to kill my opponent. I'm not I don't really want to just give away what I'm trying to do right now, so I'm na named Wild Growth Walker with the Tamio. Your aggression is Poor noted. Tamio. Let me aid your research. Wow, Ruth Walker. Okay, that's our second battlement. We got two battlements now. And we got the Wall of Lost Thoughts. All we need is one more battlement. And then we can Infi Mill. Do you think our opponent is expecting an Infi Mill whatsoever? Well, okay. Both of those. I kind of want to destroy their land. But that's two really good creatures under the battlement. I have to get rid of. Oh well. You could use some manners. To the library. So I have two battlements left, two spark doubles. So I'm gonna say spark double. Because it costs less.
Okay. Unfortunately, I'm two mana off. I can't play both Battleman and Mirror Image next turn. Even if we draw, draw uh, even if we would draw a land. But having the spark double come, like, getting these things in play does mean my, my opponent's probably going to ignore them. Yeah. All right. Well, they had Command the Dread Horde. My plan, of course, is was pretty awful against Command the Dread Horde. I mean, that's <laughs> just kind of how it is. But oh well. Definitely worth it, though. What does this deck even do? We're trying to mill our opponent out. I'm known for my excellent timing. We'd be one mana short of drawing if we drew a land here of killing our opponent. It's disappointing that we're one mana short. I don't think we can survive a full swing. These wild growth walkers are too big. No, we can't. If we draw it, another blocker, the thing is they have like the Teferi also. I'll protect you. Oh man, River's Rebuke would be so clutch. Okay. Okay, maybe we can survive a full swing. Find my notes helpful. Maybe. make you disappear oh yeah you're right yeah now now i do need another combo piece yeah you're right because just playing the battlement won't do it because yeah we'll just exile all of our things but then our battlement won't leave yeah i guess we would need yeah i guess we will need another combo piece now so no yeah we're dead let's do a command the dread horde yeah if if our tamio survives yeah Yeah, if they don't attack Tamiyo, if we can survive also. I haven't done the math here. Actually, maybe we have this. If they have nothing else, we're taking Rise, my six. Um, six. Makes me stronger. Nine, twelve, fifteen. Me. Yeah. I think we got this. I think we're gonna win. This might be a bad idea. As long as they don't attack Tamio. They didn't attack Tamio. <laughs> All right, I need the mirror image to die. You die. Uh, Jayla, you can just die. I don't. I don't really care about you. And I need both of these to stay alive. 
So you stay alive, block a four power, and you stay alive, you block a three power. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Somebody should clip this. My opponent doesn't even realize how dead they are. I re oh man, I hope this works. I hope I'm not messing anything up. Okay. Should I say good game right now? Oh, that'd be so rude, wouldn't it? I have learned much from my ancestors. <laughs> uh, they're dead. And they're dead. All right, I need to make sure I don't misclick something, though. I'm, like, so nervous. All right, copy this. You mill four. Exile this and this. Battlement comes in. Exile battlement. Select copy to object to copy the battlement. They're dead. We have the loop. We did it. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, what a game. <laughs> oh, this is so worth it. What an awesome game. Yeah, yeah, this is against the odds right here. And they mill out, they're dead! <sighs> yeah, and we get the mooing sound every every trigger for our party bus. Oh, yeah. I was going slowly with the clicking there, making sure I didn't mess that up. Moo. No. Wow. What a game. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah, Tristani can, can do some stuff, I suppose. Yeah, I mean you don't you don't have to keep choosing things. You can like click like OK or something and not not choose stuff. You know the battlements a it's a may you know you can exile any number of creatures you control. It's not it's not like you have to. So if you just choose not to exile stuff, then then the combo stops. But yeah, it's just click every creature every time. But you never know. All right, so Tristani, Tristani, good. Exclusion Mage bouncing, bouncing stuff, like just to slow everybody down and everything. I kind of like these Exclusion Mages. I think I want to trim one Vivian and the Fibble Thips. I mean, Exclusion Mages are just like Teferis, but. Yeah, our opponent did not attack the Tamiyo. Or maybe two Exclusion Mages. One Fibblethip. I don't think I sideboarded. <laughs> I don't think I sideboarded, okay. That's all right, I don't really have much of a sideboard for this matchup anyway. I was looking at the time. We still had some time left. But. Sometimes it ends your time early. Yeah, look. it looks like this fall Llanowar Elf will be gone. Unless Llanowar Elf is in the fall set.
Okay, you want to come see the moo cow? So they're stuck on lands again. Wild Growth Walker helps me not die. Probably keep it. Go, Fibble Dip, go. Ooh. I don't know, like, I don't really know why they would play Krasis as just one, though. Like, what's what's the point? You know, like, Krasis for one doesn't draw a card. Like, what's the point of just wasting a, a Krasis just to have a 1-1 one, one flyer? Like... What's up, Tamiya? It is an honor to meet you. Seek and find. Let's get our moo cow. Party bus. Got to get that 18 turn clock. That's what they're going for. So do they have trophy for Tamiya? Maybe they have Elder Spell. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Dang, there's trophy and Elder Spell. Storied past holds our future. Right on schedule. Trust me, I have a plan. Yeah, MTG bot's not working, unfortunately, right now. All right, so going with this line Subject is easy. to try to be able to pressure their Tammy out. You know, they could, of course, they can minus get Elder Spell, kill my two Planeswalkers, get their loyalty back, but I'm hoping that kind of takes up their turn. Or, I mean, they can do that with, I guess, and play Wild Growth Walkers back. No tail should be discarded. Because I, I need to kill this Tamiyo, because I, I can't let the Tamiyo just continually minus for these different things, so that's why I went with the line that I did. Looks like they have a removal spell. That's unfortunate. Uh, 
You're making it difficult to work. Oh, gosh. Well... That's probably game because their Tameo can can kill my Vivian. Let me aid your research. That's rough. Battleman had Convoke. No, right? Just imagine if this card had Trample instead of Vigilance. Should have Trample. Right, okay? Okay, cool. Get rid of, get rid of Tammy. I'm down with that. Alright, good. Draw a card. You should have Convoke, Trample, and Haste. I agree. I don't know if we're like actually pulling off the combo this game. More so just attacking. I guess keeping keeping on top gives us the option though. I definitely just think they have removal for the Battle Mint, so I'm going to just go with Wild Growth plus Jade Light this turn. You know, basically just going to play everything else out besides the Battle Mint. And so now they have to decide if they want to use the removal on the removal on the Wild Growth or not. Yeah, like, I mean, they definitely have removal over there. Mill over a bunch of lands, please. Land, land. Okay, okay. That was good. A couple lands, a command, and another Masker Girl. Yeah, they are definitely scared of... 
battlement. We will prevail. So expect so yeah, they have either another cast down or trophy. We've seen one cast down, one trophy so far. The wilds are my shield. <laughs> No, the game's not over. No, I mean they're gonna. No, this 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 game's not over. That was odd. Big battlement. Guess I should not. I should not have got rid of the land war off. I guess because now I can't block the masker girl. That's okay. I wasn't gonna really be able to protect Vivian. I guess if they wanted to, but. They get eight life. So they can only use seven. So they can get two wild growth walkers and one jade light ranger. <sighs> they took all of mine. Which, if we go to a game three, I'll be able to put in Tristani. I didn't get to sideboard for this game. They didn't attack Vivian. Oh, come on. Find another battlement. Find Meet another battlement. My newest friend. Ugh, not another battlement. They have 26 cards in library. Well, I can try to mill them out. Down to 22. Yeah, we need we need three we need three battlements though. This is only two. To to mill them out, we need three for the infinite. Scoop it up! Hawkeye, okay, we did it!
We did it, Hawkeye. Yeah, we did it, boy. Couldn't handle the walls. Milling them out. Milling them out. We are 4-0 and oh with Bant Party Bus. This deck is sweet. That's that's a link to the deck. Um, MTG bot's not working right now. Yeah, Hawkeye, we won. All right, well, I need to I need to get to the mouse. Will you let me get to the mouse? You want high five? High five. No. Okay. Yeah, that's the mouse over here. Oh man, what a what a crazy game. Hey Discmaster. Thanks for that resub there. Yeah, yeah, no, y'all are right. I needed to turn off the auto trigger so that I could explore first and then draw so that I could draw the card that I wanted on top so we could have like drawn the Tamio there. Um because yeah, if I would have if I would have stacked the triggers right, we could have set it up so we actually drew the Tamio and then the Tamio go grab another bus and then play it and I could have empty milled him there that turn. But I didn't have the trigger set up. All right, 4-0. Final boss time. Let's get our final boss playlist out. Sunday fun day. It's going to great success right now. With our second... Second final boss match. Now, last time we were 4-0 and lost to the final boss twice. A little bit ago with Mardu Angels. So let's try it again. Speaking of Mardu Angels, I'm just finishing up getting that up on YouTube. Hmm, so close. All right, and Mardu Angels is now up on YouTube. Walker doesn't do anything on its own, you know, needs the explore creatures to do anything. I'm just going to ditch it because we don't like Garen. We don't necessarily have any explore creatures right now. Thanks, Steve. Before that was our plan today. Get a little breath, breath of fresh air. It's not Nexus or Esper. You just put Nexus in Esper. Nexper. So I could spark double the Fibble Thip. Draw a card. I'm gonna do that. Now my battlement's gonna be even bigger. because so now we have three creatures to exile. Make it a 10-11. Oh, no, you missed the party bus? Oh, man, last match was incredible. That match number four. That match was insane. Yeah, we could... Looks like we'd have infinite draw set up here in a little bit.
Let's see, do I actually want to get rid of the land war elf? So next turn. No, I do not. Because wait, do we just win next turn? If our opponent taps out for like a crackling drake? Because we have, yeah, I think we have like infinite draw set up plus have two mana. So we just need to find the wall of lost thoughts and then do, no, because we can't stop the chain and then cast wall of lost thoughts and then keep the chain going. So no, we can't do that. That doesn't work. Alright, we're gonna need the space bar here. Alright, how many cards should we draw? Yeah, keep keep going until we find the wall. Yeah, we're gonna need the need the space bar to help us out a little bit here. Such a slow combo, oh my gosh. Man, this is taking for this takes forever. Hey, what's up, Kakashi? Yeah, on paper, this is so easy. <laughs> uh. Thanks for that reset there, Kakashi. There, I got some high boats in the chat. This is ridiculous. Where the where the new Nexus of Eight? All right, there's the wall. Is one wall good enough or do we go do we keep on doing this till we find the second wall? Or at least another another like mirror image kind of thing.
I wouldn't mind having like one more battlement or one more wall. Okay, there's a mirror image. Um. Okay, stop in the chain. The chain has been stopped. How many more do I have to discard? Have I not clicked enough yet? Okay. So we're at 2447 now. The chess clock's not going to be a factor now. I guess we could have a reliquary tower if that kind of thing ever happens again, but I doubt that kind of thing is going to happen again. All right, so that should be game now. Oh, whoops. I gotta get the wall also. Whoops. So many party buses. <laughs> Is there like an instant speed uh, sacrifice your creature and deal damage equal to its power in the format? Where like upkeep before our opponent draws to lose the game, they like sack their 20 power crackling drake and kill us. Yes, yeah, so there's thud, which is sorcery speed. Is there an instant speed one? I guess there's there's thrash. Yeah, so if our opponent has a thrash. Thrash is red red. Oh no, that doesn't do to players. That's just, that's just planeswalkers and creatures. That's planeswalkers, not players. Thrash doesn't work. Dude, this deck is sweet. Yeah, Electro Dominance Thud. There you go. That's a, that's a good play. That's a good play. Electro Dominance Thud. All right, 14 cards left. So Four more mills. Yeah, I'm only helping my opponent out with these drakes.
Party bus. So just Phoenix, Crackling Drake. There's a Kefnet. Even if I misclick, you know, if I if I accidentally misclick here, we're still good because I have the mana. I can just play my glacial. I haven't played a land yet. I can just play the glacial fortress, play the other mirror image, and just continue again. All right, last one. All right. <laughs> Put on my grocery shopping. So what do we want to do here? Do we want exclusion mages to bounce phoenixes? Is that a thing? <laughs> do we want like negates or frill mystics? And I just have like some hair like right in my nose that Hawkeye, like from Hawkeye being here, it's right on my face. There we go. All right. Yeah, now we can mill ourselves. <laughs> but we just milled our deck also. What if we did, what if we did that? We just mill ourselves completely, mill out, you know, like mill our deck over, and our opponents like looking at our deck, like, what are you what are you gonna do with all that? And then you're like, all right, now mill you out, and then mill them out also. Just good. Just get both libraries. Just throwing the curveball. They're they're thinking that you're gonna do something cool by milling your entire library, and then you don't. Hey, what's up, Rapha Guru? I don't think I really want to do too much, to be honest. Maybe just upgrade Time Raveler to Exclusion Mage. I don't want to do too much. <laughs> yeah, it would be the longest mill ever. You're just milling both decks. Alright, good old wild growth into Jade Light. And then you can spark up we can spark double a Jade Light. Yeah, I guess Time Raveler does stop finale. We didn't see very many finales from them. I think there was only one. Like I only remember seeing one. There might maybe there was a second one in their deck. Man, I feel bad for our opponent sitting around through that really really long mill combo game 1 just for that to happen game 2. Anyway, I think that's a 5-0. That is a 5-0. Bant Party Bus. Wow, what a deck. What a deck. This is a, a lot of fun. Um, are we 10-0 with it overall? Did we 5-0 last time we played with the deck too? I know this is our second time to play it. I know we did well. I don't remember exactly how well we did, though. This was 9-baller 89 built this deck. Um, yeah, we 5 0 with it last time, too. Wow. So we we five, we've played this deck twice, and we 5 0 both times. Wow. 
This deck's awesome. Um, yeah, we have good old Wall of Lost Thoughts. Standard All-Star. Milnar opponent out. If you're if you're watching this later on YouTube, if you just kind of clicked over to like the end to kind of hear me talk about the deck, definitely go watch the fourth match. The fourth match against Sultai, uh, you know, Sultai Command. Um, that match was crazy, and it was awesome. And that, that was incredible. And I didn't even sideboard in that match either. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this deck's a lot of fun. Lumbering Battlement's awesome. You have, so, you know, we have our good consistency with our Explore creatures and Fibble Thip. You know, like, we're hitting our land drops, and our opponents are worried about that. You know, like, they're worried about our Wild Growth Walkers and everything. And then, uh, if we need the card advantage, Tamiya, Vivian, help kick in with the card advantage. But, yeah, we just play, find Battlement, play it, um, exile some stuff, and then find some Spark Doubles, Mirror Images, other Battlements, get them going. Nobody ever cares about Wall of Lost Thoughts, right? Like, whenever you have it, you can play it. It can block things. It can block, like, the Nissa, the Nissa lands or anything else. And nobody's going to use a removal spell on Wall of Lost Thoughts. So you can just let it sit there until you're, like, ready to combo. And, you know, you get your, you know, put it underneath the Battle Mints and so on. But pretty awesome deck. Yeah, yeah, definitely a lot easier to play than the, um, than the Teshar combo, yeah. All right, so that's it here for Bant Party Bus. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a lot of fun with this deck as much as we did it here. Uh, please hit that like button over there, and I'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel as well. But that's it here for the Party Bus. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.